a musical about your mum, yep. Cilla Black, uh -huh. coming to theatres around the country. For so many people, this will make perfect musical sense. It must be an exciting time. It is very exciting, yeah. I mean, it's all becoming very real, you know. We open on the 7th of September at the wonderful Liverpool Empire, mm. and then we're going to tour it nationally and, and hopefully go into the West End next year. So it's, uh, it's been a long time coming, but it, it's going very... You know, so it has been a long time coming, but it really was that TV series that sort of cemented the idea in all of your heads. Because yeah. it was... Yeah. I mean, it was so brilliant. It's a fantastic story, brilliant cast, obviously. And, of course, from there, then you start talking about the musical. Yeah. And, and how did she feel about that then? Did it make it easier that the TV show oh, had been such a success? yeah, yeah. I mean, Jeff and I, we became really good friends. This is Jeff Pope, the brilliant writer, and he's done so many great things. And he'd never done a stage show before, and we were talking about, is there something that we can do? following on from this and we talked about it actually while we were doing the edit because Sheridan did all the, the songs live as yeah. live mm. so it felt that it could transition and so um, yeah we started talking about it we talked about it with her uh, we then spoke about it with Laurie Mansfield her agent he's also produced uh, you know Buddy yeah. and Jolson mm -hmm. and he hooked us up with uh, the wonderful Bill Kenwright Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, he's incredible. Apart from being the chairman of Everton, <laughs> uh, obviously, which, we kind of got over that. <laughs> we'll let that go. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, but he was, uh, he was brilliant. You know, we had this yeah. fantastic meeting. We were there for three hours and for two and a half hours, all we talked about was football. But in the half an hour, we talked yeah. about the show. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he wanted to produce it and he wanted to direct it. And, and so. the music isn't just going to be your mum's because obviously that's going to play a huge part of it, but also your dad. And this was something that wasn't yeah. so... I mean, it was touched on in the TV series, yeah, yeah. but your dad had an incredible voice. Also. Well, he was he was offered a recording contract by Dick James, and obviously he had to turn it down to focus on my mum. But the thing is, uh, what's different, you know, so when you go from the screen onto the stage, you have to adapt it and things you can do. For example, you know, you will see his audition, so the audience will see that you had a good voice. So when he has to turn it down, it becomes more dramatic. So yeah. you know, so if you love the drama, obviously, hopefully you'll you'll love the stage show. Mm -hmm. But it is different. It's the same story. But it, you have to tell it differently because it's a different medium, you know. Yeah. So there was a lot of fervor around the TV series, yeah, um, yeah. and Sheridan was brilliant. And she had the blessing from your mum as oh, well. Gosh, yeah. um, but she's not going to be playing the role on the stage because nope. she's got Funny Girl. She's doing Funny which Girl. means an exciting opportunity. Would you like to just disclose exactly what this means for potential leads in the theatres <laughs> around the country? Yeah. Well, what, what we're doing, uh, we're holding a series of open auditions. Uh, obviously in Liverpool, but around the whole country, um, to find our Scylla. Uh, and, um, you know, she's out there, you know. It could be, if you've got it, then, yeah. So, you don't, does it have over. to be somebody that sound? Do you want that Scylla sound? Because your mum had such a unique sound. Are you looking for somebody that's a sound alike? Well, the thing is, um, what Sheridan did very cleverly and brilliantly, uh, it wasn't an imitation, it was her interpretation. Right. So, I think, as I said, the acting is almost it's as important as the singing because you've got to invest in the character, you've got to root for the character, yeah? And you get that by the acting and then the singing, you know, it carries you along. So it really is, yeah, acting and singing. It's not just knocking out song after song. Well, this is very exciting. We're going to put details of where those auditions are taking yeah, place yeah. because actually we're going to follow it on this morning as well. Yeah, so kind of amazing. come along and, and see who's auditioning and sort of yeah, see, see who process, finally gets that yeah. part. So thank you for letting us uh, thank be you. part of that. Thank what you. would your mum have made of all of this? Because we, we joined you when, this, that, when yeah, we saw the statue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the unveiling of the statue yeah. the other day and oh, now the great. musical. I mean... She, she would have been, she would have loved it, wouldn't she? She would have done, yeah, no, she would have been very proud of the statue, you know, uh, especially because it's, you know, in front of the cavern in Matthew Street. That would have meant a lot to yeah. her. Um, and she loved the drama. I mean, she would have people coming up to her and saying, oh, I love your drama. And she'd say, well, it's not my drama, it's Sheridan's. But she was thrilled yeah. that people appreciated her as a pop singer. And what that drama did, which was a little bit inconceivable beforehand, was actually repositioned her as a pop singer. Mm. And so that's what she always wanted. I mean, she was very committed to TV, and that was a huge part of her career. But in her heart of hearts, you know, she was very youthful. Mm. Uh, and in her mind, she was always a, a, a pop singer. So it was wonderful that that drama helped to, to do that for her. And you and the family have been so careful about the legacy of your, of your mum and wanted to make sure that yeah. she's remembered in, in, those, in those ways. And well, is this exactly. going to be the big last thing? Have you got other things in the pipeline to, to remember your mum with? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that we started this journey with her and because everything changed, obviously, after she died, and, and it was about a year after that I had a sit down with 
with Jeff and Laurie and, and obviously Bill and we had to make the decision do we go on with this or, or, or do we just not do it and I think uh, for a number of reasons partly because the script is so good partly because she wanted it to happen and I guess for me I, I don't know maybe it's selfish but I, you know I miss her you know and so this yeah, kind of connects connects me her. to her you know yeah. so um, I kind of want to we all want to do it for her you know yeah and, uh, and there's a lot of people that want you to do it for course. her too I think it'll be sure. a great show I mean if you love the drama then you know it'll you can go and experience it live